Okay, so let's try to balance this equation. Someone asked me how to do this. This is a hard equation to balance, so just be prepared for that. We have uh, glycine, the simplest amino acid, uh, NH2CH2COOH plus O2. So we're adding oxygen gas here. This is combustion. We end up with carbon dioxide and water, and we do get some nitrogen. First off, make sure you count the atoms up correctly. That looks like this. And be careful here. Two oxygens plus this one here, that gives us three. We've counted them up. Let's deal with the nitrogen first. We're going to leave the oxygen till last, and then usually it's good to do the hydrogens a little bit later on as well. So let's start with nitrogen. If we put a two here, that would give me one times two, two nitrogen atoms. Those are balanced, but then I got to go through and update everything else. So I have two plus two plus one, the five hydrogens. I'm going to multiply that by two. That gives me 10 carbons, two times I have two carbons, one, two, so the two goes to everything here. So two times two, that's four um, carbons. Oxygens, be careful, we have to count it up. So one, two, two times two is four, plus two. So we have a total of six oxygen atoms now. All right, it seems that we could fix the carbons here as well. That's pretty simple because if we put a four here, one times four, that equals four, so we get four. Then we update the oxygens. Four times two is eight, plus one, nine oxygen atoms. So for the hydrogens, it looks like we could just multiply, uh, what, five here, and that would give us 10. And we have to update the oxygens again, because we have four times two is eight, eight plus five, that's 13. And now it gets kind of messy, right? We're trying to to figure out how we update the oxygens and we'd have to multiply something by here or here and I have an odd number. So I'll double the coefficients and that'll help me with the even numbers here. And that'll make it a lot easier. So let's just double everything. We'll get four, two, eight, two, ten. And now you have to add up everything. You basically have to double everything here. So I'm just gonna take and double everything here and get rid of all this other information. So now I'm just left with whole numbers and dealing with the oxygens. And the way to think about it here is we have one, two, so we have two times four, that's eight, plus some number is gonna equal that 26. So let's get rid of the two, we're gonna have to change that. So eight plus what is 26? Looks like eight plus 18. That's 26. We can't put 18 here because we have to multiply times two. So let's put nine here. And I'm gonna get rid of this up here so it's a little cleaner. So now we'll update our oxygens. We had four times the two, that's eight plus 18. That equals 26. And everything is the same on both sides. So like I said, this is not an easy equation to balance. Sometimes when you get that odd number and everything's getting kind of crazy, you're dealing with fractions, you can just double the coefficients and you're not really changing anything in the equation because coefficients are just ratios. And those ratios, we use them in stoichiometry and counting of the moles and grams and such. So no problem to double them. It often makes it so you have these whole numbers and then balancing gets to be a whole bunch easier. That's it. This is Dr. B. Uh, thanks for watching.